All right, guys, gonna do a little video here on my chickens I got. I got a, a dozen right now, uh, Rhode Island Reds and Golden, Golden Comets, and got a few mix. My rooster there, I raised him up. Uh, he's a mix, a Golden Comet and a Rhode Island Red. So uh, that's the mix I got here, and uh, that's just what I like. As you know, there's you know tons of breeds of chickens. Just do your research, get what you want. Um, yeah, this is a little setup I got for them. To the left there, you see is their water. It's got automatic water filler on it with a hose that goes across to a hose spigot over there. Um, I don't leave it on. Well, you can, but I don't leave it on because I'm on a well. Something happens and the hose bust and I'm not here. Could run my well dry. So I just manually come out here a couple days, turn on the water, and uh, let it fill up on its own. Um, but yeah, this is my chicken run here. Good size for 12 of them. And they can get up and under the building there, as you see, get getting in some shade if they want. Uh, to the side here, I got some quail going. I got a video on that, so if you're interested in that, check out that video. Uh, the story on the building is, the place I worked was actually, uh, we was going under some construction. They was going to tear it down, so uh, they said if I wanted it, I could have it. So me and my dad actually took this building down, board by board, piece by piece, and rebuilt it up here. So uh, the material was free, but we did have quite a bit of labor in it. That's something we enjoy doing together. So uh, it was a fun project. Oh, turned out good. Um, I think it's a 16 by 16 building, I believe. Um, one day I'll turn in a mower shed or something, but uh, right now it's a chicken run and keep some quail too. Uh, I got a young daughter and she just loves the chickens. I highly recommend them if you got little kids. Get you a few chickens. You don't need nothing like this at all. You can do your research online, build you a little chicken coop or something, but uh, this is what I got going. A uh, four foot chain link fence around the side with just some T-posts. Uh, if you look on Craigslist online or uh, even just people setting it out, most of the time you can find just huge chain link. People are getting rid of it, it works good. Now on top I got, uh, this is called deer netting. Uh, it's used to go over trees and stuff, but uh, any hardware store would have it. It's fairly inexpensive. I just draped it over and zip tied it. Um, you can buy that Lowe's, Home Depot, anything like that's gonna have it. Um, so yeah, this is the outside and of course, that's where they can get inside. And I got an automatic door on there. It's on a timer. So it opens in the morning, shuts in the evenings. Uh, does really good. Keeps me from having to come out here. So I'll go around the side here and show you the uh, egg box that I made. Might give some of y'all a little bit of an idea. Got a big sliding door that just was on the building when we got, so we put it back in. So when I clean it, I just open this door up. Easy access, pull trailer up to it get all the old shavings out and put new in. Uh, it opens plumb up as you can see, so that works out really good. And then uh, here is my egg box. Very simple design, this little box. Door here, you can open it up. Oh, got a few on it right now, actually. So, uh, they're not too happy to see me. I was ready to lay some eggs. So there's a few eggs I got, must have been this morning. Oh, they're all real happy with me now. Well, it's about the design of it. I just went in, built me some boxes, and uh, mounted it to the side, cut me a hole in the side of the building, and put it on them. So, yeah, you can do it. Unhook it, shut the door back. Works out really good. Critters have not yet to get in this. Works good. Just come up, get your eggs, and put it back. So, I'll show you the inside, show you the roost poles and different stuff I have. Well, here's the inside of it. Once again, those chickens got rain off the nest, so they're uh, not too happy with me, but you can just go inside here and see. They'll head on out. That's the automatic door that open, opens and closes on itself. Got a little timer on, as you can see. Here's the roost poles I have. They seem to really like it. Uh, I would recommend doing sticks or, you know, something like this instead of two by fours. They claim a sharp edge after a while will uh, kind of wear on them. They like something like sticks or something like this a little better, so. That's what that is. I got two double feeders in here. They just hang. These two here just hang, fill them from the top. That's how you get drops back down. Works good. I got me one of them automatic homemade deals built to the top. As they eat out of the bottom, it'll refill itself. It works okay. Um, I almost prefer just to do this method. It's a little easier. There's the inside of that nest box. What I got hanging here is just oyster shells. That helps uh, harden up their eggs a little bit. So I just hang it from a regular feeder. They seem to eat out of it just fine. Does its job just fine. So yeah. So what I got might give some of y'all a little bit of ideas. It's a little overkill, but uh, 
building was furry. It just took a little little effort to get it up. So anyway, here's my chicken run. Um, if you watch, if you like do quail or anything exotic like that, I do guineas, turkey, stuff like that. So uh, uh, just like and subscribe. Keep an eye on my channel. I got some Bob White quail chicks about to hatch out. And we'll do a whole little segment on them. So uh, if you like what you're seeing here, like and subscribe. Click on my channel. Check out some videos here in the next few days. I'll be putting some baby quail out. So till next time.